Hey there, Louis Ocabellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a table to a page of a website built using Wix Website Builder. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Wix tutorials. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Ocabellas to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my other content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to add a table to a page of a website built using the Wix website builder. Uh, now what I'm going to be adding is a list of the top rated products from my perspective to this page. Uh, and so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on content manager okay and you want to click on create new collection now essentially a collection in wix uh, for all intents and purposes is a database or you know a data table so we can actually use content collections to store uh, data that we will then uh, display on our websites okay so i'm going to call this content collection no code tools and then you want to select in the what's this collection for field okay uh, and you can see here that your options are site content okay anyone can view data from this collection uh, or form submission anyone could submit data to this collection and then if you have um, a member page or member pages on your site uh, you can actually have member generated content okay so really what this is doing is it's describing permissions around uh, who can interact with the content to be stored in this collection i'm going to go ahead and click on site content and then i'm going to click on create collection all right so you can see here that this content collection has been created and essentially, again, what these collections are, are databases or really just data tables. So you can see here, there is a title column. And if I click on this plus sign, I can actually add in new fields, okay? Uh, so the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to uh, click on the properties of the title column, okay? And I am going to rename this column to uh, no code tool name, okay? Uh, and I'm not going to change the type, but if you click on field type, again, as you'll see in a minute, we'll actually be able to um, change these data types here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm now going to add another column. So in this first column, I am going to record the name of a tool. Okay, and in the uh, second column, I'm going to record whether this product is free or paid. Uh, so you want to click on the plus sign here and you want to set your column name, okay? And I am going to call this uh, pricing, okay? Uh, and in the field type, I'm going to select text, but you can see here that there are a ton of different uh, data types that you could use to store information in these collections, okay? Uh, so again, I'm going to now go ahead and click save. Okay, so I've got my no code tool name column and my pricing and I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign to add one more column to this collection. And in this case, I'm going to call it link. And in the data type, I am going to select URL. So I'm going to use this to actually store the link to that particular product. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a record and I can do that by clicking on this little plus sign here in the cell. Okay, uh, and this is going to allow me to edit in line or if I wanted to, I could expand into a card view or a form view by clicking on these arrows. So you can see here, I've got this awesome form view and I will add in the first record here, Microsoft Power Automate, and I'm just going to say paid and I'll paste in the link uh, to this particular product. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So I've added in a record there and you can see that. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add another one. So I'm gonna click on this plus sign and I'm gonna edit it in the card view again. And this time I'm going to uh, add Zoho Creator and the pricing is free and I am going to add uh, a link to that as well, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna click save. 
So that's how to create the actual data table that you will use to populate the table that will be displayed on your website, okay? Uh, now what you want to do is you want to X out of this. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to click on the add button. And here you want to select list and grids. And at the bottom of the list and grid menu, uh, you can see here that there are um, several templated tables that you could actually add to your page. So in this case, I will select one of them and that's going to add a table to the page, okay? Um, now, if you wanted to, you could click on manage table and actually um, add columns to this table directly here from this interface, okay? Or if you wanted to actually connect this to your collection, if you right click on the table and you click on connect to data, um, you can then create a data set. So you wanna click this and here you have the option to choose a collection, okay? And you can see a list of all of your different content collections and you can see here, no code tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. That's the collection that we just created and it's going to create your data set name and you wanna click on create. And there you go. Uh, you can add a table to your web page that is connected to a backend uh, data table or content collection. This way when you wanna manage uh, the actual data, you can update it in your content collection and just have it dynamically display on the page. Uh, now, I'll quickly preview this and you can see here that the table is uh, nested nicely on that page. Now, uh, the next thing that I'll show you is how to change uh, the actual layout. So if you wanted to change the look or feel of this table, you could click on the layouts button Okay, and you could, uh, for example, resize the table height to automatically fit the data. Okay, you could choose whether you want to show the header row or not. Uh, you have the option to again configure header height and row height uh, to change the alignment, etc. etc. Okay, uh, if you wanted to actually change the design of the table, you could click on the design button, uh, and again, you can change the color scheme uh, and use an out of the box templated table. Uh, or you can click on Customize Design and actually get into uh, the different options uh, and change the visuals yourself, okay? So that's how to add a table to a web page using out-of-the-box functionality. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another way that you could add a table to a web page and make it a little more dynamic. For example, uh, provide your visitors with the option to filter, sort, create views, etc. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to add a table to a page on your website using a tool called Airtable. Uh, if you've never heard of Airtable before, it is a tool that allows you to build out relational databases. It's awesome and it's very easy to use. Uh, and the best part of Airtable is that it is actually free. You can access it and use it uh, with certain restrictions for free. Uh, if you are interested, check out the link in the description below. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Airtable uh, very quickly. In Airtable, you have uh, your projects grouped in what are called workspaces. And then within workspaces, you create bases, which are essentially databases. So you can see that I have this base created already called No Code Tools. I'm going to click into this. And this is what a base looks like. It is a data table. And just like we saw with our content collections in Wix, you can add your columns and add some customizations to this, okay? Uh, now I've already got a, a head start on the tutorial and I've created my first column called platform name. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'll add in my other two columns. So I'm gonna click on this plus sign to add a field, okay? Uh, and again, the second column in our table was called pricing. Now you can see all of the different data types here. Okay, it's much more robust than what we saw with the content collections in Wix. And so in this case, I'm going to click on single select. Okay, uh, and the cool part of Airtable again is that you have these customizations like the ability to add uh, colors to your options and to have them be displayed in alphabetical order. Uh, so the first option in pricing is free. Okay, and I'm gonna click on add an option again, and the second option was paid. So I have two options, and if I click on the drop down, I can change the color of those options as well. So I'll click on create field, okay? Uh, and the next 
field that we're going to add or column is our URL. So again, I'm gonna click on this plus sign and I am going to click on URL, okay? And I'm gonna create the field. And just like we saw with our Wix collections, I can edit these in line, okay? Or I can expand into a card view of the record, okay? So I will add our first record here. Okay, and you can see that record has been added. Now I can go ahead and hide some of these extra fields that were just included um, by default. Okay, and I will add in another record. Okay, and so I've now created my table. And the really awesome feature of Airtable is the ability to again, share these tables with other colleagues, or you can even embed them on your website. So to do that, you want to click on share view. Okay, and you want to click on create a shareable grid view link. Now, what you're going to see is some options around how to configure the permissions of sharing this base or this table. Uh, so you can see here, allow viewers to copy data out of this view. So if, if you're okay with that, then you can leave this on. Uh, or if you don't want people to be able to copy your data, you could toggle this off, okay? Uh, if you want this data to be able to uh, be synced to other bases that people might be using with Airtable, you can toggle this on. And if you wanna show all fields in expanded records, you can toggle this on. Uh, if you upgrade your plan in Airtable, then you can even implement permissions um, that are restricted by perhaps password or email domain. Now to embed this on a website, you want to click on embed this view on your site. This is going to open a new tab in your browser and it's going to generate some HTML code that you can embed on your site. And you can see here the preview. So this is what you would expect to see on desktop. And this is the view that you would expect to see if your uh, visitors are visiting your website from mobile. Now the option here, show view controls. If you toggle this off, it's not going to allow people to filter and sort, for example. So that's really one of the awesome features is that you could uh, allow people to filter and sort and play with the data that you're going to be putting into the table on your website, okay? Uh, and if you want people to actually be able to click into the record card view, you want to toggle this on, okay? That's going to change the default view. Now, I just want this to appear as a table, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my code and I am going to come back into my Wix website and I will just delete this existing table and this content collection. And you want to click on add. And here we are going to click on embed and we're going to click on embed a widget. Okay, this is going to allow us to embed some HTML code. You want to click on enter code and copy and paste your HTML into the box and click update. And there you go. You can see that this table has been included on your page. And you can see that the option to filter, group and sort is featured here on this table. So now what I'll do is I will preview this. So you can see here that your users will actually be able to click into this card view. Okay, and if they wanted to filter this table, Okay, they could click on that filter button, click add filter, and then actually select from the fields. Okay, so if I wanted to see all products that are free, I can select pricing, select free, and this table is going to filter in real time, which is fantastic. Now, another cool feature is if you scroll to the bottom of this, and of course you would want to adjust this to make it fit the page without having to scroll, you, you could view a larger version of the table and it's going to actually pop out into a tab. And again, users would be able to access this um, in a separate browser tab. So that's a pretty handy feature of Airtable. It's an awesome way to incorporate tables onto the pages of your website built on the Wix platform. Again, if you want to learn more or sign up for Airtable, check out the link in the description below. And that's it. This tutorial showed you how to add tables to a web page of a website built using Wix Website Builder. My name is Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.